Hi, I am Shorty Biscuit and welcome back to my channel. I have here the EcoFlow portable fridge that I have wanted ever since it was released. It has a cool feature in it, an ice maker, and I can't wait to get it open. I also have the battery which is rated for 40 hours of operation of the fridge without any plugs and the wheels and handles because it is kind of heavy at 50 pounds and I'm sure not going to be lifting it. So I'm going to get it out the box and get it all set up and have a look at it. Uh, let's see if I can lift it out of the box. It is definitely 50 pounds. It is out of the box, so let's get it open. It's about the size of a 70 quart cooler, I would say. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing this is the plugs and cables. This over here is where it makes ice. And there's the fridge freezer combination here with a divider in the middle and a basket in there. So we have wall plug, <laughs> ice scoop, I guess, a car plug, manual, and the adapter for the wall plug. So this plugs into here. There we go. It comes with two cables, one to power it in a car and one to power it with the wall in the house, library, I don't know, wherever you are. So I'm going to get these other boxes open and set it all up. The battery is, has some weight to it, as expected. There's a manual in here. Nothing else in the box. This is the battery. And now here we have the wheels and handle. Instructions. Finishing plates, it looks like. Two of them. This would be the handle. <laughs> These are cool looking wheels. There we are, the wheels. It even came with a screwdriver. Now that is thoughtful. And screws. More screws. Pretty nice packaging. And that's it for the contents of the box. So I'm going to attach the wheels and handles and um, read through some manuals and get back to this. The wheels are attached with thumb screws, which I think is a good thing because they're sticking out pretty far. So in order to save space, if you're packing up the car or something, it might be easier just to pop the wheels off. EcoFlow was really thoughtful about the design of the fridge and usability. When it comes out the box, you can see it has two compartments, it even has the basket. But what it has is a divider that makes it into a one compartment instead of two. This divider snaps right in here when it's not in use as a divider, which is pretty cool because 
you'd have to figure out what to do with it when you weren't using it as a divider. And they really did think of that, of where to put it when you're not using it. And then it comes right back out, slides into these grooves, and then back in again you have a two compartment fridge device. I am done installing the handles on the wheels over here. Now we have the telescope handle. It's going to make it really easy to carry. And I installed the finishing plates. The battery. So the reason for getting the battery, um, I have solar panels. I have the EcoFlow 220 watt solar panel as well as other panels and the only way you can charge this directly via solar is if you have a battery in it so I got the battery that way I can have this set up with the battery in there plug in the solar panel and it could keep charging without the need of a power station at the back here is where the battery goes in it is and it has looks like 50% state of charge out of the box I haven't charged it yet I guess that looks like the eject button correct that's the eject button and I am going to turn it on <laughs> it's a beautiful screen What I am going to do is link it to the app so that I can control it along with my other EcoFlow devices. You can already hear the fan going or compressor. As soon as I open the app, it just popped right in. So I'm just going to add it. Connect it to my Wi-Fi. And it's setting up. As I was saying about the need for the battery with the ice maker, it says fill with portable water only. When connected to 12 volt car charger for power supply and no battery pack access, ice making function is not supported. Battery pack needs to be connected when connected to PV panels for power supply, otherwise the refrigerator will not work. So like I was saying, if you wanna make ice when connected to 12 volt, you must have the battery. And if you want to use solar, you also must have the battery. And there it is all set up in the app. I can turn it off from the app. And there it goes off. I let the fridge sit for a few hours so that, you know, it would settle. It's a compressor. It was on its side while I did the wheels and such. So I said, let me just leave it, let it sit. And now I am going to turn it on. I am going to use the app to do that. See if I can. And I'm turning it on. And heard the beep and the screen went on. Currently it is 50 degrees on both sides. I guess I can set, <laughs> this is pretty cool. I can set um, one side to be freezer and maybe one side to be fridge. I'll go with the freezer on the small side and as you oh when you touch the temperature like you get the options for if it's fruit vegetables or meat let's just go with vegetable and that's a range of 32 to 46 Fahrenheit and so it's it's just a slider to turn it up and so I'll go with let's with 35 and I see 35 blinking on the screen and close that and then the other side I'll put it to freezer mode it's already at negative 13 so I am just going to leave it set at that so right now the temperature is set for 35 degrees on the bigger side 10 degrees on the smaller side and I will let that sit and see how long 
it takes to get there. The battery is at 44%. I can see that on the screen. It is plugged in to the wall at the moment. And so what's going to happen is it's going to power the fridge as well as charge up the battery that's inside with the wall plug. So I should get a full battery and I'll be doing some testing to see just how long this lasts on battery. It's been about 10 minutes and already the temperature has dropped significantly. The fridge side is already at the set 35 Fahrenheit and the freezer side is already down to 21 degrees. It's going to be hopefully negative 10 at some point but not so bad for 10 minutes. It's moving a lot faster than expected and the battery is up to 50% from 44% where it started. I am going to try out the ice maker on the ice maker there is a minimum and maximum line that you're supposed to fill to so gonna <laughs> try this out I don't know if there's enough water but I have about three cups of water So three cups of water was not enough. So I have another two cups here. I am not even at the minimum line. So I'm gonna pour some more. And I'm about halfway between the two lines. Yeah, so this thing takes about six cups of water. Good to know. All right, I guess <laughs> just close it. I don't see water leaking anywhere. And there's a button, there's an ice button. All right, it's doing some kind of calculations. Oh, hear that? It says on the screen, it says 18 minutes to ice. And check the app. And on the app it says during ice making or detaching and the screen went away. So on the app you can see it's making ice there and it says 18 minutes till ice so I'll wait for that to happen I can also see that right now and it's been probably like 15 20 minutes that has been on and both sides started off at about 50 degrees I have one set side set to fridge which is 35 and that's where it at and the other side is supposed to go to negative 10 and it's already down to negative 5 so it's moving pretty fast at getting cool and you can actually see what looks like ice cubes in there um, it says on the screen that it is detaching ice okay ice making complete there's a nice alert on the app as well it says take your ice cubes now um, So some say it is a trick to like put it in, oops, shake it about and do that a couple times. Ah, oh, look, <laughs> the ice floated up. I use the scoop and there you have it. Ice. there's perfectly functional you see there's like a hole at the bottom oh we got some ice cubes so just gonna there we go <laughs> there is ice in there. it is still within a reasonable line so i guess i can make a second batch of ice let's close it and press the button on here to make more ice. Let's see how long it's going to take this time. 14 minutes. 14 minutes is up. Second batch is ready. But there you go. Ice detaching is complete. 
There we go. Ooh, it is stuck in here this time. Ah, there we go. Look at this. The ice is definitely different this time around. You can see it's solidly covered over the whole bullet looking thing. There we go. And you put it in and out a few times. Try not to make the mess I am making. And yeah. See the ice this time. It is completely frozen over the top. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe I can make a third batch of ice. Now that I'm done making the ice, I have to empty out the water that's left up here. So I am going to unplug it first. And then open this door here. This is where the drain is. I'm closing the tube. And then letting the water drain out. I expect there's going to be almost three cups of water in here because half of the water was still in the section here when the ice was done being made. Without the wheels, I would have been able to put the container down. With the wheels, I can't. So I'm just going <laughs> to. Oh, it's almost all out. Not much left. Okay, the water is done dripping. I'm gonna put the tube back in place. And close the door. And as I suspected, this is just almost three cups of water. The battery is now at 77%. I tested out the ice maker and I had to unplug it for the ice maker and it just stayed powered the entire time. So like, I'm gonna unplug the wall plug now and you can tell that there was no delay or, in, or anything, no clicks, no nothing with the switch over. It was really automatic. So that's something good to not worry about if you had it plugged in to the wall or to the car while you were driving or at home and somehow you lost power, then it'll automatically switch over to the battery inside. Um, the battery charges outside as well. There's a USB-C bi-directional port actually on the battery. So you can use that USB-C port to charge something. So if I needed to charge my phone, I can plug it right into that battery and charge my phone, but I can also charge the battery itself with a USB-C. So I have a MacBook and that has a powerful charger. I think 90 something watts, 96 watts or something. I also have a 68 watt charger and I can plug the USB-C from the MacBook into the battery and keep the battery charged that way. So there's a couple ways to keep the battery charged as well as to use the battery to charge something else as a power pack. So it is pretty versatile. I love the ice cubes. I made three batches of ice. Um, it took about six cups of water to fill up it's almost to the max fill line inside of the ice making section and when I emptied it out I had about three cups of water so just know you're going to be losing some water or have water that you're just not going to be able to use for drinking maybe probably could but you could use the water for something else like washing dishes or something while you're on site so it takes about six cups of water to fill up and it gets back to the minimum line after about three cycles of making ice, which is about half of the water. So just be aware of that. It, within an hour, actually less than an hour, it got to temperature. So right now it says negative 10 on one side, 30 degrees on the other side. So I am going to start putting some food in there, some frozen stuff in there and see how well it fares. But all in all, I am very happy with this thing. I no longer have to worry about ice on the road. I did a six week road trip where keeping things cold became a little bit problematic. Now, I won't need a cooler. When I know I'm going to be on longer trips, I am definitely going to have this with me. I'm probably just gonna have it on every trip, even if it's just for a weekend. I don't have to worry about ice and the 40 hour battery takes care of almost two days of power for the device. So yeah. Um, I am looking forward to taking this with me on every trip, even though it is pretty much heavy, but we'll work on that.